I'm at the New York Auto Show, and I'm sitting in a Jeep Gladiator Rubicon for no other reason than I'm really obsessed with this car. There's another reason I'm sitting inside of the Jeep Gladiator. It was named one of Ward's Auto 10 Best Interiors at the New York Auto Show. The announcement was made today, and I can see why. This is a really, really nice interior. And we sort of rounded out the day today. We were at a tech talk where we had some people on the new mobility side of the economy, and one of the companies that's really interesting that we learned about is a company called Dollaride, which is sort of taking an offline, previously offline economy online. You know, throughout New York City, there's over 120,000 New Yorkers who use uh, a mobility service called Dollar Vans um, that have actually been around for over 30 years. But if you were to ask a New Yorker, have you ever heard of a dollar van or taken a dollar van, nine times out of ten, you'll probably get a blank stare. And that's because this uh, mobility service is mostly in the outer boroughs, and they are traditionally for um, low-income areas or communities that are driven by uh, immigrant populations. In New York, more than 600,000 people live in an area that is defined as a transit desert. So while New York City has the largest and most uh, broad public transit infrastructure, there are many, many New Yorkers who live more than a half a mile from the subway or have to wait more than 15 minutes for the nearest bus. So because of that, services like dollar vans or jitneys uh, or matatus if you were in Nairobi or donfos in Nigeria or even colectivos all throughout South America play a great role in bridging people uh, from where they live to where they need to go, uh, or you know that canonical first mile, last mile transit issue. So Dollar Ride is providing a technology that makes these services more available and safer for pedestrians and, and citizens. They used to be following the bus routes and they would get ticketed for that. The city didn't really like that, so there was a, a gray area for a little while. Now these dollar van transportation systems, they're fully legal, they are sanctioned by the city, and Dollar Ride is actually doing a pilot with the Department of Transportation coming up uh, this June, so we're gonna be doing some coverage of that.